in YouTube. Today we'll be talking about exposure triangle. I know when I first got into photography, I was like, what the f is exposure triangle? Exposure triangle exists of three elements. It's your ISO, your shutter speed, and your aperture. These three elements, you control your camera's exposure. ISO controls your camera's sensitivity to light. So the higher your ISO, the more sensitive your camera becomes to light. The lower your ISO is, the lower your camera sensitivity will be to light. So if you're in a dark environment, you wanna boost up your ISO so you can get a correct exposure. You're out in the bright light, you wanna drop your ISO so you can correct the exposure. Second thing is shutter speed. Shutter speed is the speed of your camera shutter. So the faster your shutter speed, the quicker you can capture images. We usually use faster shutter speeds in sports, wildlife, whenever you want to stop action and movement, you use a higher shutter speed. If you want a long exposure, you drop your shutter speed. It gives the camera more time to process light. So the higher shutter speed, the less light your sensor will get, the longer your shutter speed, the brighter your picture will get. Aperture. Aperture is an adjustable part of your lens where you can control light. You can control how much light passes through your lens. So a higher aperture, you let less light in. Lower aperture, you let more light in. So lower apertures we usually use for portraits or low light filming, low light photography. So if you got a lower aperture, your subject will be in focus and most likely your black your background will be blurred out. So like anything from 1.4, 1.8, 1.2, you will get that nice bouquet in the back. Your subject will be in focus. When you raise your aperture, everything in the picture will be in focus. And that's why you use higher apertures like aperture 13 for landscape photography, real estate photography, you use higher apertures. If you're into portraits, lower apertures. So the higher apertures, when you're using higher aperture, you'll be letting less light in. So most likely you have to bump up your ISO to, to help control the exposure, keep it correct, or drop your shutter speed. So the exposure triangle is basically ISO, shutter speed, and your aperture. You play with these three elements to correct your exposure. I hope this video helped you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe because we'll be dropping more videos. When I first started photography, I was watching YouTube videos after YouTube videos. If you're tired of watching the intros, if you're tired of hearing about Squarespace, subscribe because we're dropping game. We're out here hustling.